All right. Okay. So we can go to JavaScript now. Yes. I'm starting that part. That's the next part here, working with JavaScript and React. Okay. This is our app. This is what it looks like. And the best, the best way we have to test JavaScript is to run this <laughs> this app. Yeah, I don't think we have tests for this. Yeah, we have some tests How for the How many items market. do we have? My God. Yeah, anytime we run the test suite, we get oh, a bunch yeah, of items. Oh, right. yeah, We, in particular, I think we have four, right? One, two, three, four. four. Yeah. So anytime we run the test suite, we get four more items. items yeah. 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 Fun story. Like Last year, we had a similar to-do app, and we had a way for people to run the Postman tests against our deployed version on Heroku. So you mean like 100 people running tests on the same app? Exactly. I can't and even think of how much redundant data there is. The funniest thing is that I was using not SQLite on Heroku, I was using Postgres, Postgres and they yeah. have a limit of 10,000 rows <laughs> in the database. I reached that limit. I had to clean the database in the middle of the semester. Okay. It's a good thing people are using it, though. It, yeah, it shows it is that, great. at least, yeah. So here we have our JavaScript. It's all in the HTML. Not a good idea. So let's start ex by extracting this into its okay. own file, yeah. similar to what we did with CSS back 500 episodes ago, <laughs> right? Similar story. We just cut and paste. Yeah. Let's create a new file here. We have a folder for JavaScript, and we can create a new file. How do you want to call that new file? Index, main, whatever. Name, whatever. You know what? I have a good idea for a good idea for a name. We have a server class. We could so have a server.js? No, client. Client.js. Oh right. Technically it is the client. Yeah. yeah. So rename. rename to client. I mean it's not alone in being the client, <laughs> yeah, but it's but the core, the core of, of being the, the client. client yeah. So we come here to this JavaScript, we cut. Copy all of it. Oh. And we paste into client. A new yes. If this is all refactoring, isn't it like easy? <laughs> no, it will get complicated. So here we say that uh, we want to find the, the JavaScript. Yes. And that there doesn't look like there's errors. Yeah, IntelliJ is happy. Yeah. We are rerunning the server and refreshing the browser, and the app is happy. happy I can then. see more items as done. I Thank can God. see. Let's get some out of there. I can see. Write some happy faces. <laughs> and get it done. Yeah. Okay. So that's that. That's the first part. First, uh, extract JavaScript into, into their own, own files. files. Okay. Or so now. Some file. Wait, can you open. Uh, yeah, after this, can you open the issues? Let's see. Okay, so now we're going to React and to modularizing that. Yes. Okay. Oh, there is another thing I want to do. This cross origins, they are leftovers from 600 episodes <laughs> ago when we were using uh, the thing we copy and pasted from the React documentation yes. and it was using a uh, web server unpackaged. Yeah. We decided to download the scripts just to our own machine. This, yeah. So we don't need the cross origin. I'm also committing that. This, just to show that it's super easy and fast to commit, I'm committing just that. So remove cross origin. Yeah, that's done. Okay, now let's go into React stuff. What do we have on the menu? Don't remount the application every time. Yeah, that's yeah. a big problem yeah. because we have this get data from server function. That goes, oh, at every two seconds it's doing the same thing. It's even worse every 200, oh, 200 milliseconds. Sorry, yeah. not. Two Why seconds. 200 milliseconds? Because that's around the minimum value that JavaScript will respect. <laughs> if you try to go lower than 200 milliseconds, JavaScript will say, whatever, I'm waiting 200 <laughs> milliseconds anyway. Also, it's how long it takes for us to perceive delay. Oh, I didn't assumes. know that. Yeah, I yeah. didn't know that. If, if you hit a page, if you go to like jjuz.com, if there is a delay greater than 200 milliseconds, you start to notice. Oh. Uh, yeah, fun stuff. Human psychology Perfection, and JavaScript. Yeah. <laughs> right. Okay, get data from server is a single function that does the whole Everything, thing. Everything, yeah. 
and it runs every 200 milliseconds. Terrible idea. It is a terrible idea in many ways. The first of which is that it's remounting the application every time. Yeah, on the entire div tag. Yeah. So what I would like to see is to have the application mount once, and then we use React mm -hmm. to update the sing uh, singular the components. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So the first thing we need is components. You yeah. said the keyword. We are not using any component yep. here in our code. We're using HTML tag. We are using straight HTML tags. Yeah. And there is nothing wrong with them. They are valid. You can see the first example here is with pure HTML tags. Yep. But they are being used to define a component. So yep. we need to define our first component, which is in React, there are two ways to define a component. I'm going to start with the simpler one. I find it simpler anyway. So I'm going to call this component. Uh, just the button? Yeah, I'm going to declare it here. I'm going to call this component like application. I'm oh, capitalizing. Oh, application. OK. Hang on. I'm still writing Sorry. out the idea. I'm not sure, even sure if I like the idea. So the capital name, the, the capitalized name means this is a component in React as opposed to just a regular variable. OK. And this component is a function. It takes its arguments. Well, some things. We'll get back to this. And it returns some other things. We'll get back to this as well. It's just a function, OK? Yeah, the point is okay. that it's a function. OK. Now we can define, let's start with the body of the function. We need to define what the function returns. Well, we yeah. can say that the function literally just returns this. All of it, yeah. It returns the JSX that is uh, our application. I'm putting this in parentheses so that JSX doesn't get confused about the beginning and ends of tags. Mm -hmm. But that's the point, OK? So the application function, it is the whole JSX we had before. Okay. And to call this function, you could say something like this, right? Yeah. You could try to do this. Yeah. But we can also use JSX to call this function as if a it were function. a tag. A tag. Oh. oh, so the React component does act as an HTML tag. It, it is quite literally creating a wrapper over the HTML tag, but it can still act as that tag. Yeah. OK. So we are now creating a a React component that is a function, yeah. and it behaves like an HTML tag. Yeah. We can call the function using HTML syntax. Yes. And for now, I'm gonna I'm not gonna use the argument, so I'm going to just leave this empty for now. Okay. Now let's see if just this works. works. Yeah. And it does. It does. Okay. So and now we just it. extracted our first component, and yes. it's just a function. That's way one of defining a component. Okay. There are two ways of defining yeah. components in React. The second way is with a class, and that's yeah. what we see in the documentation. Okay. Let's use the second way to define again the same application, application thing. Okay. Yeah. Let's see if this will work. I'm not sure I can declare a class from within. Inside, yeah. The, but we'll see. So I'll call this application, and we have to say that it extends a React component. 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 Maybe you. No, I have it right. That's no. it. React component. No, no, I was thinking maybe you can't define it inside that. Oh, yeah, we will see. I believe you can. And then we have to declare a method. The render tag, okay. This method is understood by React to mean, oh, this is me the method I call when I need to render something. Yep. And that is when the application mounts, for instance, or every 200 milliseconds when you call <laughs> it again and again. So anytime you're calling this render thing with a function, in this case, the application currently yep. is a function, it will call the function. Yep. If, on the other hand, application is a class, it then will it call, will call the, the render method in, in that the class. class itself, yeah. And now you need to call. <laughs> yeah, okay. Yeah. And don't you, yeah. I believe this is all good. So you don't change anything in this React render call? No, it is smart enough to tell. 
is that this application the... thing a function? If it is, I will call it. Okay. Is it a class? If it is, I will call the render, render function. In that and you can see that method. IntelliJ doesn't seem to be clever enough to tell that render is never used because I believe it's trying to warn me. No, it was grayed it's out. Nice. It is grayed out, so I thought it was going to complain Say that this class this, yeah. is never, uh, this method is never used. Yeah. But it, it seems to be okay with that. So okay, so we just saw two different ways to you to extract a component. Okay. The first is with a function. The second is with a class. Let's rerun the server to show that this works also exactly works, yeah. the same. There you go. There you go. Yeah. Now we have this function. Yeah. Uh, sorry, this class. class. Yeah. Class. We can also use this same idea to extract more components out of yeah. our application. Yeah. For instance, we have this header, okay? Yeah. This is a very simple component, but we can have a component for it. Yeah. So I will have it as a function, function because yeah, it's, it's so simple. simple. Yeah. I'll call it what? Header? Yeah. It needs to be Each, capitalized. Yeah. Equals to a function that returns just that much. Just that. So wait. You had parentheses there, but okay, the parentheses for was for JSX. Yeah, if you want, you can always surround an expression with parentheses in JavaScript. And in this case, I am not because it's a single line. But if it, this was going to go over multiple lines, I would put okay. some parentheses okay, okay. around this, All right. like so. I am trying to make this as concise as possible, so I'll just do it like this. Is this okay by you? Yeah. Okay. I just need to like know what was happening. Yeah. So here, instead of saying h1, we can see Heather. And now this. Um, okay, so this is not called by React DOM dot render. Yeah, anytime you see a HTML class with a capital name, React will, will know, oh, this is a React component. Okay. Let's see, is this a function? I will call it. On the other hand, is it a class? I will call the render method. Render. Okay, all right. So that's what React is doing right here. And if everything is correct, we are going to see exactly the same on the browser. Exactly yep. the same. Oops. And we can do this for other things like this button. Yeah. button. Except that this button is used twice yeah. here and here. And they have different classes. Yeah. The function functionality is the same, but yeah, they have yeah. different classes. So let's extract the button. How do we call this? The plus button? Yeah, what else? Plus button. Yeah. It can also be a function because it's a very simple component yep. and it will be this whole thing. Right? And this yeah. is quite long, so I'll put some parentheses around the thing and I'll try to break it in multiple lines. So maybe that way it looks better. Maybe. Kind of okay. And with that, we can replace this part with the plus button component. Okay, that is fine. That is fine. But what about the other What about the other button? one? Let's see. First, we know that this will work just fine. So yes. do you want to go to the browser uh, and see this? I know. Okay. So I will try something here that I'm not sure is going to work. Okay. I believe it may because React is super smart. I haven't tried do this before. Do you want to pass it as an argument? That's nice. what I want yeah, to do. Okay. That's what I want to do. So when you're calling a function, a regular function in JavaScript, you can pass arguments, arguments like yes. hello. Yeah. Well, in this syntax of calling a function, you can also pass arguments. For example, uh, let's say that the argument is a banana and you can say, <laughs> Banana equals hello. And here you could have a, a, an argument to be banana. This is similar to what we have here. So I'm going to try it this way. And let's see if this will work. I will remove the class from here. And I'll put the class name here. Is React smart enough to tell that, oh, I want this class name to be attributed to this button? OK. Maybe. I'm like 30% confident that this will work. <laughs> I, yeah, because what if there are multiple component, like multiple things in a component? Then how will but react only one can, thing? but only one can be the root. Yeah, that's right. We saw this before. So if you wanted to have another tag here, like an input, maybe 
this wouldn't work. You can only have one yep. as the root. So yep. maybe the class name will apply to the root, root automatically. Yeah, maybe. Let's see. Let's see. Let's see. I'm refreshing again. I don't know why. So if this works, we'll see this button having as it currently has. I haven't refreshed yet. It currently has the class plus at the top. Okay. Plus at the top. Let's refresh. And the style is wrong. So yeah. already I can tell that it didn't work. Yep. Also, it seems to be refreshing like crazy. Yeah. Yeah, but that's another story. We'll get there. So yeah, the, uh, the, the button needs to receive an argument to be its class name. This, only this will not work. So here we can say this function actually receives an argument. We yeah, haven't done with right. anything with the argument, but it actually receives one. And this argument is usually called uh, props for properties, <laughs> because these are called properties, properties in yeah. HTML. And here we can say, class name is equal to props dot uh, class name. So if we had something like banana equals hello here, we could access props dot banana. banana. Okay. Right. But we have props class name like that. Let's see if this will do the trick. The button is back, like it, yeah. and Obligation it has the plus at the top. It's still refreshing like crazy, yeah. but we'll handle that. In fact, I don't think that editing will work now. We cannot click on things yep. to edit. I'm trying to click on it, and the cursor just goes away <laughs> right away. Yeah, this is the problem so we're going to fix stuff. next. Yeah. So we are taking the components apart, and because we are doing that, React is no longer capable of telling that it has already rendered some parts of yep. the thing, and it's trying to re-render the thing every time. Everything. You can see here in the console that it's, it's flashing, flashing like crazy, yeah. because it's trying to re Every time, recreate, yeah. re-render this component. And we have installed the React extension here, and we can see now the components. It's also refreshing like yeah. crazy. But what, what's cool about this before my browser crashes is that it's, it was showing us. It doesn't seem to be doing that any longer. It's showing us the application tag as yeah. opposed I to just some divs. Yeah, that will work again when we extract some more. So yeah, so we have the plus button at the top. We yeah, can have the plus button at, at the, bottom. the bottom. And what's cool about this is that we are now properly reusing the on-click logic yep. that we had to copy and yep. paste before. I'm going to just restart this again to make sure. That is still refreshing like crazy. Yeah, it's going to still refresh yeah. like crazy until we fix some other thing. But now let's go to the main meat, OK? So the main meat here is the list of items. Yep. Let's extract this as a component. Or do you want to do the little ones first? I want to extract from the outside in, because okay. that's what we have been doing. Yeah. So next, we have the whole class for this piece. Class. Yeah. yeah, this is big enough to warrant a class. Yeah, it will need to be a class. So this is going to be what the um, item list. Item list. Yeah, I can't think of anything else. React. Yeah. For now, we can probably get away with just copy, copying <laughs> and pasting. This and we use it right here. So now we want to use the item list. Yeah, that's it. Uh huh. Maybe just yeah, that's it. Okay. You, you. We are being extra cautious here because yeah. React is the part of the ecosystem that we know the least. <laughs> so this is still the Working, same, yeah. but still refreshing like crazy. There. Okay. Now. What is next? I guess we can extract each item from this here. From this. So we have a class for item list. Let's have a class for uh, item, item. Yeah. that extends React component. component yeah. 
again render again return and parentheses and semicolon and again i think we can get away with oh, deleting copying, yeah. Uh, yeah cutting and pasting all of this but this time it won't work like immediately because for each item we have the item variable yeah. available to us yeah. and now we can yes we can use the item, item list. but we need to so pass it the be. item yep like so and here whenever we say item we need to say props item Dot item yeah actually prop item and mm. i see another one here yeah. and Maybe. that's event No, not that. Yep, I think we got them all. Yeah. Do you need a Let me scroll up? Yeah, that looks okay. That looks okay. Do you know? Yeah, that's right. Okay. I'm going to Yeah, this is inline all of this because now it is relatively simple. And because it's all in one line, I don't need a parenthesis. Now this is relatively simple and it still works. You see that I don't have to be explicit about the props part here yeah. in the render. When I'm using a function, I have to be explicit about, about its props, argument. Yeah. But when it's a method in the class, yeah. it React is... component has props, it has extenders, stuff like that. So you can just use that. Yeah, also I believe I, believe I need the this dot in the beginning. Oh. So anywhere I see props here, I will also need this dot props, this dot props, this dot props, and this, this dot props. Why is it this dot? Well, this because it's, it's not a class. Itself, yeah. yeah, here we didn't need the, this because this was a function. Yep. But this is a class. So yeah, two different ways to define components. They are almost exactly equivalent in many ways, yeah. but they are different in some other ways, like this way. In which you have to yeah. use this or passing the props variable yeah argument so let's see item i just want to double check that all the items are properly prefixed by this dot props and they are yeah. okay so with that i can rerun the server and we can see if the thing is working yeah. it is still working okay still the same problem yeah, we haven't solved edit. the refreshing like crazy but there are still a few more components we can yeah. extract. So let's do that. Like first. the inbox and the text field, I suppose, right? Yeah. I don't see the need to remove the form either. Yeah, I think that the form is good. Yeah, it's trivial, it's fine. Yeah. So let's extract. Um, I think that the checkbox can, can be a function. Yes. So Straight, let's... Yeah, like, it's pretty straightforward. So what is this? It's the mark item as done. done checkbox yeah. and it doesn't receive any props it does receive props, props yeah. so it receives props and it will return this line note that i'm using the parentheses here because this is multiple lines and I don't need to be explicit and say return because I didn't put the braces. Yeah. We saw this many episodes ago. I'm just uh, refreshing. Reusing, yeah, reusing that. So anytime same. now I see this dot props, I need it to change to it props. to props <laughs> back again. But fine. It's only one, so it's fine. And here, instead of saying this line, I can say mark, mark items, items that's done. done checkbox. And mm -hmm. I need to pass it the item, item yeah. which will be this dot, props dot item. item. In, the next. I am being extra extra <laughs> cautious here every time. This is gonna run. See? Fair. And finally, we extract the const uh, text box item uh, description. Description. And maybe this will be complicated enough that it because it has on change and yeah, everything. Yeah. So it, I'd rather have it be a class. Class. Than a function. So class. Item description. Item description extends React dot component. Yeah. 
I'll lock this. Movies. And I will use the item description passing in the item, which is this props item. item. Yeah. Here in this you definition, change, remove all of this. No, because this is a Oh, class. right, sorry. My bad. So I believe this is just working. Um, so will it be this dot props dot item dot description or this dot props dot description? It will be this dot props dot item dot description because we have an item ah, argument okay, here okay so this item here refers, yes okay. this is the one that is referring to that and then from then we get the description okay and then mm -hmm. we run this refresh this looks the same to me yeah fine you, so you can still edit it can you oh i cannot <laughs> Yeah, that's what we are going to see on the next episode. In this oh, episode, okay. we saw two different ways to Extract define React components. From to define yeah. React components, the method, uh, the method render in the class, and, and the just function. A function yeah. We also extracted a bunch of components. Yeah. So now All this types. is what our mounting looks like. Yeah. And then the application mounts a bunch of other components. Yeah. Each component may be a function that is simply an HTML tag, or yes. it may even call on other components that calls on yet other, other components yeah. and so on and so Next forth. And components. when we fix, when we finally fix the re-rendering thing, this thing will stop flashing and we'll be, be able stable, to inspect yeah. the tree of... All of the React components that yes. we have. If you go to elements, you just see the raw HTML, like yes. divs. Yeah. But if you go to the React, React extension... You see React components. You see React components. Yeah, that's all... For this time, yeah. Yeah, and on the next episode, we also have to fix let's just, yeah, the problem the, of refresh. Yeah, that's right. Let's see the GitHub issue once. We'll have a better idea, I think. Yeah. So, I think that's done. We are still remounting the yeah. application so every 200 milliseconds. Fixed. Extract controllers from views. We haven't reached that. We'll yeah. see that in future okay. episodes. For now, I'm happy. Are you happy? Yeah. All this right. is progress. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> see you on the next one. <laughs> All right.